Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video I'm going to tell you all about register rules. Register rules allow you to restrict the sale of certain items in your inventory, either by the quantity that can be sold or by the minimum age required to make the purchase. To begin, let's click on Settings, followed by Register Rules. Here we can see we already have one rule established, which is a purchase limit rule. And if we open that up and take a look, we can see here that we've named the rule. It is a purchase limit, meaning the there is a maximum quantity per sale. And in this case, I've set that up as three. It is applicable to all of the shops in my account. And we've added one item called quantity restricted item to this rule, meaning that this is the only item that will be affected. So as we can see here, we can view and edit any existing rules. We can also archive this rule if we no longer require it. We can delete items from it or add new items to it, make whatever changes we need to make. I'll show you more about how this works at the register in a moment, but first let's create a brand new register rule by clicking on New Register Rule. We'll give this one a name as well. We're going to set this up for alcohol and we'll select age restriction. We'll set the minimum age to purchase. This may vary depending on your region, of course, and which shops we want this to apply to. We also need to decide which items this is going to apply to, so we'll click on Add Items. This is going to give me a list of my entire inventory, and we're not going to add everything to it, but I can search items by name, or I can apply filters to find certain things that I might want. For example, a category, everything in the wine category, and I can see here that I have two wines in my store that would need to be age restricted. I can select these independently. I can select all of them. And when I've made my selections, I will click Add to Register Rule. Once added, these can be, again, selected all at once and delete everything selected, make only certain selections, or delete them individually. Of course, always remember to save changes before you leave. Uh, we've set up an age restriction rule. We already have a quantity limit rule. Let's go to the register and see how these work. We'll click on Sales, and we'll go to New Sale. We'll begin by adding a bottle of wine, and we can see here that the age verification required pop-up presents itself. This is where you would use your barcode scanner to scan the back of the ID if it is a driver's license that is scannable. Uh, you will notice that on the back of the ID, there are two different barcodes. There is the one-dimensional barcode, which is a traditional barcode, and then there's the two-dimensional barcode, which will look more like this. You do need to scan the two-dimensional barcode, and sometimes scanners will pick up the 1D barcode first, so a quick, easy cheat is to uh, just simply cover the 1D barcode with your finger, uh, and then it will be forced to scan the 2D barcode. As I said, driver's licenses uh, are scannable and must be scanned, but there are certain other kinds of identification that uh, cannot be scanned. And in that case, you might need to do a manager verification. To do so, click on manager verification here in the bottom left. Once you've opened the manager verification window, you'll choose the type of ID. In this case, let's say it is a passport. Enter in the date of birth. The ID's expiry date will be October 3rd, 2019. Let's make that October 2nd. And let's confirm. Now I set that date on purpose because I wanted to show what happens if the status is expired. The expiry date is in the past, therefore this is not a valid identification. So even though we've set the type of ID and we've it's automatically told us the age of this person and it is a legal age to purchase alcohol, you cannot proceed with the transaction because the identification is expired. In order to complete 
a manager verification, the manager will need to enter in their PIN, but you can notice even with the manager PIN entered, because the identification is expired, it will not allow you to authorize the transaction. Customer ID is expired, so we can go back to the sale and we can see that the age-restricted item has automatically been removed from the transaction. Let's add it again and we'll do another manager verification. Now we've entered in a valid ID, so when I hit confirm, it will again say this is still valid, they are of age, and the ID type has been recorded. We can now enter in our manager PIN, which uh, manager override does not require a separate PIN. It would be that user's regular PIN. As long as they have that permission, it is valid for this purpose. And we'll click authorize. So now this transaction has been age verified. They are able to purchase this bottle of wine. If we then wanted to add another bottle of wine, no further verification is required because this transaction has already been age verified. I can even navigate away. I can go take a look at my inventory. I can come back to the sale and continue sale and still add more because it is tied to the sale ID. We also had an item that was quantity restricted at a quantity of three. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like when we attempt to add that item. Our quantity restricted item has been added. We are under the quantity limit. We have no problem here. If we change that quantity to four, this exceeds the purchase limit of three. We have been given a warning and we can see that the quantity reverted back to one. I can bump that back up to three, and we have no problem, but the second I go over three, we get that warning, and the quantity is restored to the last entered viable quantity. Once we've got our purchase ready to go, and everything meets the rule requirements, we can advance to payment, and finish the transaction. That concludes this video, but be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.